All right, camera's on. Went down a little bit. Yeah. All right, got it up now. Yeah, we're good now. Now the wind is good. There you go. Stick to the left. What's the birdie? Straight across here? Yep, yeah, sir. Two. Visibility, one, zero. You want to make a call? Sky condition, clear. Yeah, straight ahead, yeah. Temperature, I'll one, seven. Can I go? Yeah, I'll make a call. Okay. Look at Now it's a straight push. You may have to tap funnel all the way back, and you may have to tap on the brakes to slow down before you turn at the end. Depends on how how much wind we're going to get on this one. There you go. That's a good slowdown right there. Okay, the traffic police forecast out to three miles east, 800 feet, transiting northwest for work. Uh, an area over the lab, just north of the field for camp. Very nice and slow. You see how you undershot that uh, yeah. yellow line? Yep, we're dealing with coming across from the 624 up top on the ground. Okay. I'll do your checklist while you focus on this windy condition taxi on the tail dragger. Pre takeoff, fuel select your song, cover the heat, we'll put on doors and windows, close on the left, close left on the right. Wind direction, let's see, wind. Altimeter, two, niner, six, seven. Remarks, thunderstorm, information not available. Brookhaven Airport, Shirley, New York. Automated weather observation, 1433, three, Zulu. Wind, 0 at 14 Alpha, 2, 1. Visibility, 1, 0. Not too bad. 2, 6, 0 at 1, 5, gusting at 2, 1. We can handle that. I'll get that center line a little bit more right rotor. There you go. Now you're going to turn right on Alpha. It's going to be even a bigger push. So slow down, throttle back, all the way to idle. Full right rudder. Going downhill and wind. There you go. Now, just stick back. That's it. There you go. The wind's at our back, right? Okay, now stick forward. Dive away. Perfect. And I'll show you how to slow down with the brakes a little bit. You see? A little bit of brakes yeah. on the center line and let go. Just the heels. Yeah, just the heels. Alright, uh, we got the wind almost straight down the runway. Time note. 1035. 1035. And let's see. Abort plan ready. We have an engine failure and we're still on the runway. We're just going to stop and push the plane off the runway. Engine failure after airborne with sufficient runway remaining. We're going to land straight ahead. Engine failure after takeoff with insufficient runway remaining. Shall we turn? Turns left and right to avoid obstacles. right obstacle. only to avoid obstacles and find an open spot like right here. You see, that's an open spot. Right. Stay away from the trees and land. Hopefully, you know, we'll have a, you know, a place where we can actually point the nose right towards the wind and, re you know, reduce our ground speed on the, on the push down. If we have sufficient altitude, we're going to just maneuver like we did in Spadero and uh, land on an open field or in an airport if we can reach. Take off. I want you to stop on the runway. Carburetor heat on. Check the wind. 
Check the heading, full throttle. When you do full throttle, right rotor. Slowly, out. slowly. Full count, one, uh, two, three, four. There you go, nice and easy on the throttle. Tail's gonna come up, ease back on the controls. Maintain directional control, keep that pitch attitude, rotate at. 60. Staying ground effect till 72 and off you go. Any questions? No. Or take off check complete. Make another radio call. On. Are we clear? Yep. Made an announcement. Nobody's out. Okay, that's the wind, okay? That's when you really, really have to take it easy when you make that turn. Because if you come in too fast, the wind, where's yeah, the wind coming from? But you see me slow down. It's going to tend to make the airplane turn into the wind. But you see me slow You see me you use the brakes when I got up to this, this you, point. You I tried, do. but you kind of... You didn't anticipate it as aggressive as it was. This is, by the way, a very good lesson. Taxi lesson. Yeah. For windy conditions. All right? Yeah. On the tail dragger. Yeah. Yes, sir. to stop on the runway just like we had on the checklist. Stop on the runway, get that center line. Carb heat on? Yeah, carb heat on is on the checklist. Yeah. Carb heat on, okay. No brakes at all now? No brakes. Nice and easy, throttle back up. All the way to full right. throttle. Stick forward. Stay on the controls, nice and easy. Right rudder as you're applying that throttle. There you go. And hold that pitch attitude. Hold that pitch attitude. It's gonna come up pretty quick. He wants to fly. There you go. 72, almost 80 now. You're good. He's up and running. Are we making a right turn? Very nice takeoff. Are we making a right turn? No, straight ahead. Fast stay on runway center line. No, I mean, uh, when we, get, when we get to the proper position. When we, when we get to the proper position, are we making a right turn? I'm still not getting it. Pass the runway, are we turning right or left? No, 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 straight ahead. Oh, okay. Bay Fort is basically straight ahead. Oh, I thought it was back the other way. Okay. Oh, really? You thought we were going back this way? Yeah. Ah, oh, you got your orientation Yeah, off. my orientation Let me go it. ahead and lock you up here on Bay Fort so you have yeah. a little better I'm clue. sorry, I thought we were, I thought it was behind us. Give you a little better clue where you are on the HSI. Does that take off all right? Yeah, this was a good takeoff. You see how quick it come in because of the uh, wind? Hey, yeah, you gotta work your ass off on these planes, boy. Oh yeah. Okay, helicopter three, run me out. Definitely make it work. Let's get out of the, uh, remember like around 1500 it smoothed out? Yeah, I'm trying to get up. Yeah, let's get out, get out of this, uh... I'm trying to get it up. You know, I'm a little, I'm, uh, you know, like because of the wind and, it, uh, you know, da, 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 but it's still great. I totally understand your concern. I mean, it is a lot of wind for a tail dragger, but, you know, if you can handle this, that's why I'm, that's the or reason. five to ten. That's the reason why I'm doing and it, right? so far you had a very safe landing in Brookhaven and a very, uh, you know, the day four takeoff was a little iffy because of the crosswind. And the landing is going to be tricky, too. But Brookhaven is very straightforward because the wind is coming straight down the runway. Right. Much easier. Okay, it's nice. You want me to head to the shore? Here at discretion, you can go all the way to the inner coastline, or you can go straight ahead towards the south south shore. The inner south shore, the inner line, right? You know, the inner inner shoreline or the uh, south shore, like where the ocean is. 
Just uh, get up to like 1500 where it's kind of smoothing out a little bit. Okay, the traffic, please help you work in the area of the land north of the field, 1000 feet, okay? Traffic, is that us? Uh, that was a police helicopter? Yes. Working north of the field, so he's uh, announcing a Brookhaven traffic in case there's an aircraft in the city. That's the courtesy call. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I slip plus Charlie ahead. Okay. Yep, it is correct. I slip it is ahead, but that's the yeah, outer ring, and we can be at a below 1500 and be below it, so it's not a problem at all. That's a good altitude. Throttle back about 1900 to 2000 RPM, your discretion, and we'll do a cruise check. We're three out to the south. Don't forget your trim. Okay, cruise check. Power, Instruments are good. Up to three, visibility one zero. Temperature is good. The comp is heading. Two thirty. Two thirty five. Two thirty. Two twenty. Because of the wind, the wind's from the rain. Okay. At no time for fuel, we're good. Oh yeah, we're topped off. We got three hours. Yeah, that's why I figured. That's what I meant before. I figured you get fuel, so you have fuel for the plane for during the week or, or next week or whatever. I wasn't prepared. I thought you were going to do landings and practice. another one. Yeah. I thought we were going to go right for fuel. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes when I get nervous, it short circuits me a little bit. <laughs> But now I'm okay. You understand me. You have plenty of time. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm having a good time. And yeah. I think you're you're learning a lot today, which is I a good am. thing. Yeah. The taxi thing. right there. I knew I had to slow down. It caught you by surprise, huh? Yeah, but you know what? I knew I had to slow down. You felt me on the brakes when we were coming straight. But when I made the turn, I didn't expect it to wish me like that. Of course. Imagine that. This is not a, you know, this is a conventional. It's a tail dragger. So the center of gravity is, is in right the behind back us. Back of the plane, right behind, behind us. us. So when there's wind, well, guess what? The center of gravity, the most, the most weight of the airplane is behind you. The wind's going to tend to push, push you around, and the centrifugal force is going to whoop, and that's what happened. And you'll see it on the tape. Yep. But it's good. That was good taxi practice. Yeah. I you know did. to have the mole, all the yeah. pressure on the mole. You know, so keep that. Uh, yep. Taxi, taxi fairly straight. Yep. Got uh, a cramp. Look at this. I got a cramp in my uh, in my calf for when we whipped around like that, but that's okay. Yep. You haven't flown a tail dragger if you didn't do any ground loops. Oh yeah. Look at this though. This is depressing. What's that? Uh, uh, speed. We're doing 35 knots. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is we're only seven miles out. <laughs> But it may take like a half a tank. Uh, 20, take. Minutes, 20 minutes and a half a tank. Half a tank to get there, yeah. No, it's not that bad. 35 knots is not that bad. I mean, but there's a lot of wind. Yeah. Where's the uh, inlet? Is that it over there? Or is it fast? You see, I slip, it's kind of south, straight south of I slip. The inlet. It looks like when you're looking at the. Um, Yeah, it's 
So we're going to use run race. Uh, we're going to use uh, one eight. Stop on me. So the regular, regular over the river, yeah. Yeah, over the river and through the woods. It's it's it's, it's a lot of crossing. It's uh, sixty to seventy degrees, uh, degrees crosswind. Oh, we may have to land somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see the windsock. When we're coming down, we'll see what the windsock says. What do you mean? We can't go to to Bayport? Maybe too much crosswind. I don't know. We'll see. The wind is definitely picked up. Let's see what the ice lip says. Scattered at 13,000, temperature 17, dew point 7, 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 dew point Should have stayed lower, you got a little higher. It was 1 5. Right? 1 6. 2 o'clock, about 2 miles to the southwest, 1.5 descending for the left base. Let's see here. See if we got that traffic, we'll say it's out. Maintain visuals. Southwest 870, this traffic, you got it's 10 o'clock and 2 oh, miles east. Got helicopter. He's level at 900. Below 1500. Looking for 10 o'clock traffic. Yeah, he's got you inside, he's maintained visual, he's a helicopter. PD-18, you're five miles southeast, rate of service, 10 minutes, go up, 1200, zero, zero, have a nice We're at 700 feet now. Hey, PD-18. Oh, we were at 1500, right? Right. It's absolutely 7, that PD, uh, over you left now, about he a mile. He kind of descended low prematurely. Uh, Look how far he is on the runway. PD-3, uh, PD you're five miles east, rate of service, 10 minutes, go up, 1200, wow. zero, zero, good day, sir. Where, where that where, we weren't even, hold on, we weren't even Charlie. Uh, we were technically inside Charlie, but I think he descended prematurely. That's what happened. 500 feet now, yeah, we're at, fi yeah, we're at 500 feet now. Man, that thing came out of nowhere. He was pretty close. Yeah. Is he, did he see us? I don't know. I mean, because... Are we going to get in trouble now? I don't think so. I don't know. Well, we were... Below 15. Well, technically we're at 15, but yeah. there's... Low pressure. But it's bouncing all over the place. It's bouncing all over the place, but there was low pressure. What does that mean? And maybe he forgot to reset his altimeter? Yeah. If, he, if he's at 2.9 or 9 or 2... Yeah, it's 9 or 8 If he's at 2.9 or 9 or 2, it'll be 300, 400 feet... 200... Well, let's get... Uh, uh, Yes, sir. You're number one. You clear the land. One two six zero one two. Clear the land. I think it's up. Where are we going? I'm listening to the. Uh, okay. The eight point zero. We were below. We were at fifteen hundred feet. Fifteen hundred feet. Yeah, but we were outside the shore. And we weren't even. I don't think we were. Was just too low. Yeah, we weren't low. It was just too low. Thank you, three. Sounds like 3946. We weren't really too low. Huh? I think he was too low. Where, where, where should I be heading now? Yeah, he was too low. He was 10 miles out of the airplane, out, out of the airport. Yeah. And he looked like he was landed right there. He was too low. He wasn't supposed to be that low. Because on the visual approach, Okay, on the visual approach. If you're on the visual approach, you're supposed to be within five miles of the airport before you descend for 1,500 feet AGL. Turbine. Right. Turboprop, turbojet. So he's supposed to be inside this ring at 1,500 feet. AGL. He was 10 miles out at 1,500 or maybe 1,700. Well, he was too low. That's scary, man. That, he was pretty close. 
That's scary. I think he saw us too because he reported. Did he? Uh, he reported. You'll, you'll watch the. You'll hear the tape. What did he say? You'll hear the tape. And I bet you're gonna see on the camera. Whoa! Right. Seven thirty-seven. Whoa! That was close. What did he say though? He said uh, we have an aircraft uh, below us, and he didn't see us on the radar because you know we don't have an electrical system. We, we don't have a transponder, so he can't see us. But basically. He said on the radio, we have an airplane below us. Okay. But well, well, look, I'll I, I listen for that. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear the tape. Oh, we don't have no transponder, but we're in class G right now. We're uncontrolled, of course. We're uncontrolled. Uh, below, right now, we're uncontrolled. Right now, we're in class golf. Up to 700 feet is class golf. However, we were at 1,500 feet. 10 miles out, right. and he was maybe 1,700. He's not supposed to be that low, but, you know, we should have, you know, keep, keep an eye, but he was rapidly moving. Yeah, he came up. He was like 250. He was... Can I ask you another question now? Get back to this. But when we were in cruise at 2000, how come we're not full... Um you know, full power because we have to win. Too much work on the engine? No, this engine is, uh... No, but I'm just saying, why... 75% power is 2300 RPM. 2000 RPM is 95%, uh, 2150. You can push it all the way up to 23. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm only saying for... Well, that's like 75% power. But I'm only, I'm only saying for my own... Um, it's three course settings. From zero to six thousand feet. Two thousand, twenty one fifty, twenty three hundred. Okay. Your choice. I'm only saying for my own knowledge. I like to cruise at about nineteen, two thousand RPM, save gas, more efficient, you know. Okay, yeah. And you know, this is what it's all about. Right, you know? look at stick and rudder, you know. Hey, where do you see on the tape? We're gonna see that go right by the windshield, because I seen him I saw it, I saw I him. seen you react right away and then I went, Whoa That's right. Alright, there's your marina. Where? No, nope, I guess not further up. This is a different marina. Yeah, the marina. This is a different, because I'm looking for that big house. I don't see the big house. There's a white house up there. Yeah, the further up, yeah. The second, uh, oh, we're going to do the right, the white house thing? No, 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 we're going to oh, okay. do, uh, Browns Roll the River. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to be that low at, no. at uh, no. For a turbine-powered Part 121 Airlines, 10 miles out, like 4,000 feet. Yeah, usually, four to 3,000 feet. Yeah, I know. Three to 4,000 feet. He's not supposed to be a 1,500. What happens is, he probably cleared him for the visual approach. And he would have seen us. What he did is descent. He's on a visual approach, that means he's supposed to see and avoid traffic. He did. Yeah, but he saw us. I think he saw us. That's what happened. I don't think he saw us. I think his radar he picked us up. On the TCAS, maybe. Yeah. Okay. But... Unless the he reported it. You'll hear the tape. You know, I don't know. We'll see, man. Whenever we get a chance, we'll hear the tape. But he reported small traffic to the control, and I heard it on my radio. Uh -huh. But it wasn't on the frequency that he was supposed to report, but I don't know, I heard it, so. So, we're okay. We're, we're, we're alive. Of course we're okay, but that was a pretty close goal. He was practically 600 feet from us. That's it. <laughs> he was close. Yeah, but the tape will probably show better because it's a much better view. You can slow it down. That's another thing we don't say to honey. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> you know, was Southwest no. just over, Jet almost T-boned us to 600 feet? No, it was more. It was, we were high. We were 1,500. No, I mean, uh, we were away, away from us. 600 feet away from us, right? Check this house right on the water, swimming pool, and a big solar panel right on the roof. Yeah. See the whole modules? Yeah. Is this our inlet coming up? Okay.
Okay, this is our inlet coming up now, yeah. Let's go back to 500. Got a windmill. They got a windmill here? Yeah, it's right. Uh, You're kidding me. That's the first time I've seen it? New York. You see it? Yeah. That is a windmill. That's a good day for some free power, that's for sure. Got this one, the next one right there, way out there. Yeah. Information Echo one three five six zero wind two five zero one eight gust two three visibility one zero. Few clouds at four thousand. Two fifty at one eight. Yeah, it was, it was, wasn't it, uh, 1-5, wasn't it 2-5, 50 at 12, only 12. Visual approaches in use, left in the party, runway 2-4. Notice the MN, runway 6, NDB, LOM, unusable, BM, 1-2-5, runway 2-4, down the line, runway 6-2-4, center 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 line, runway 6-2-4, Oh, let's take a look at the wind side. Back a little bit. Take a right. That push, yeah. Nice push. That 90 knots. Should I throttle back more? I have throttle back a little bit. But that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the flea market. See the stock? Not yet. On the down one, we'll pick it up. Oh, yeah, that's up there. Okay. Throttle back up a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, not too bad. Okay. Touchdown point. Uh, uh, let's keep it. Uh, can you help me out here? The tailwind now, yeah. so we'll keep it. Help me out here. I'm yeah. a little nervous. Yeah. Turn in. Throttle back. Throttle back. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Right rudder. Now is a tailwind, so a little more throttle. There you go. More, more, more throttle. More throttle. More throttle. You got it. Your control. Okay, I got it. Let me try that. It's pretty tricky. I'm gonna get off the controls, okay? All right, let's let's uh, let's see how we do this. Yeah, let's see how we do this. Hello, my brother. A little bit too much for me. Now you want to turn right into the wind. See? This way it's less.
this, you're, you're minimizing the crosswind component. You go right into the wind. Exactly. Yeah, it was too much for me to handle. Too much. Yeah, no, I would have. Way I would have panicked. Yeah. The jet is enough. <laughs> It was a much of a call. It, it took some effort. You have it on the tape. It took effort. But, you know. Interesting morning, huh? What's that? It'll wake you up for the rest of the day. Yeah, but. interesting morning. Okay. Secure it. I think uh, the owner of the airport was watching us. Was he? Yeah, with a yellow pickup. We were, we're right, don't we? Yeah, yeah, but he was watching the action, you know. Okay. Check that wind sack. Yeah, straight out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right, so all electrical off. Mags are off. Fuel selector. Is off, right? Yep, I just put it on. Oh, okay. Yep.